Good morning, folks. We've got one of the best animations in the history of this news show, A Cold Future, Strange Jet Features, and The Canary in the Climate Coal Mine. Also got a weather warning, but we're starting with space weather. Taking a peek at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star had no sunspots or solar flares, and were relatively silent except for the filament destruction top left, which was the focus of our second video release yesterday as a solar tornado tore itself apart. Let's come next to the solar wind. Do not be confused by the variability of the speed panel in purple. Spikes aren't even cracking 500 kilometers per second, and the stream has been relatively calm for a few days, along with geomagnetism, more than 48 hours in the green. I honestly don't make much of the departing sparse coronal hole structure, but as this rotation goes, watch just south of the equator, on the left, strong coronal hole coming in, next earthquake watch is coming. There haven't been any big earthquakes this week, but we did see fire continuing to break up through the Alaskan snow as this volcano in the Aleutian chain continues erupting. Interestingly, I went over to the University of Alaska's Volcano Observatory page to get more info, but was chased away by the symbolism, like a squirrel in a stampede. Jeez, guys, really? Let's move on to Europe. Metacane is the silly name they give to Mediterranean hurricane force storms, and we've got one coming. Luckily for most, it's staying south and should even slide east as the weekend progresses, but Italian coastlines here and Greece in general need eyes open on this one. In a fun coincidence, I was checking out the magnetic field and electric torus animations NASA has on what they call neutron stars. Seems fairly like a Z-pinch or the field and torus structure around planets and other stars, but do you see a jet? No. Well, that is something that is not supposed to occur at neutron stars like that one, and so they have to rethink how jets are formed, they say. I would like to point out, however, that it could mean that the star isn't what they thought it was, or that neutron stars in general aren't what they think they are. Electric Universe has interesting things to say about neutron stars. Up next, another kind of star, the great luminous blue variables. These are the psycho stars of the universe. They wildly vary their luminosity and radiation profile, as well as spectral returns over those fluctuations almost like it spends time shape-shifting through different kinds of stars and modes of their lifetimes. This animation is the first to include everything they've learned from observations, and apparently, that told the computer to make electric double-layer shells rather than depend on overarching convection within. Folks, this is actually one of the places where electric science and mainstream are in the process of colliding and working it out. Again, these superstars are called luminous blue variables. We are not done yet, as there's a new survey of the visible universe, and it reveals a very clumpy hodgepodge of material in the cosmos. The story is purported to be a survey of how dark matter has shaped the universe over time, but of course they aren't measuring or seeing dark matter or dark energy, and in fact have merely tracked the visible matter in the universe, plotted it based on perceived place in the cosmos, went ahead and called it the map of dark matter in the universe, when indeed... Under their paradigm, that would be what made the shape, but they surveyed nothing but the normal matter. Up next, we've got Rutgers describing how more extreme weather is becoming the norm and should continue to be that way. We have seen stories showing why Russia has a cold future, why Europe has a cold future, and now we see that when those polar vortex patterns bring the cold to the U.S. as well, it should be shockingly persistent there too. This leads us into our last paper, one describing the strange climate shifts before the most major events like the Roman Warm Period or the Little Ice Age, the canaries in the coal mine of climate change, and it is hard not to see what they describe happening again right now. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 425 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.